first leg of its operation and uh, everybody is anxiously looking forward to this uh, great event. As far as Indian space program is concerned, this is going to be the most significant milestone uh, for the planetary exploration. Uh, of course, in the past, uh, we have made an attempt to land on the lunar surface, but unfortunately, it did not succeed at the time. Since then, ISRO has done considerable studies and simulations and strengthened the designs and provided redundancies so that the mission uh, success probability can be improved. So all these actions have been completed. And now the last 20 minutes descending from the lunar orbit to the lunar surface is going to be the most challenging moment in the history of this mission. Uh, as far as this uh, soft landing is concerned, uh, not many people have succeeded. It is only USA, Russia, and China has succeeded so far to land on the southern region, south pole uh, of the <coughs> moon. Uh, of course, recently the Luna uh, spacecraft of the Russia also has crash landed on the lunar surface. Uh, considering all this background, uh, we have to uh, really make sure everything is normal and perfect before the landing operation takes place. The landing operation involves first reducing the velocity of the spacecraft from 1.6 kilometer per second to few hundred meter per second, and then uh, make it over at a low altitude, take pictures of the lunar surface, and identify the spots where it can safely land. There are uh, rocks and uh, there are uh, craters and valleys in the region. So one has to really choose the spot on which the landing can take place safely. And this operation will be done in the last uh, uh, minute or so. And uh, that is the most important event, uh, which is as far as the mission is concerned. Uh, after reaching, uh, identifying the spot, the thrusters again will slowly bring down the spacecraft to the lunar surface. After landing there, the rover is expected to move out and then have the investigation in the uh, southern polar region for about 14 days. It will collect data about the minerals which are there, identify the water sources and also the helium-3 and so on. And again, the seismic vibrations which are there, which may exist on the lone lunar uh, surface may be identified. So all these operations are going to take place and uh, it, the mission is supposed to last as long as the sunlight is available. But during the dark period, the power source are not sufficient to maintain its operation. Maybe if it wakes up again after the next uh, solar cycle, uh, certainly another 14, 15 days of operation also can be expected. So this is a very significant event as far as ISRO is concerned and everybody is anxiously looking forward to successful completion of this event.